we're making invisible inks in different colours that you don't need fire to reveal. Welcome to QLab. In today's experiment, we're going to be making multicoloured invisible inks. If you want to follow along, everything you need is in the description. But you'll need a few paintbrushes and the red cabbage indicator that we've shown you how to make. Water some extra brushes and then a basic solution and I used sodium carbonate for mine and an acidic solution which you can make up with some lemon juice. The first thing we're going to have to do is test how these different solutions work on paper. So for this test I've got lines drawn on the paper or painted on the paper using water, some of that sodium bicarbonate solution some vinegar, a diluted vinegar, and some of the diluted lemon juice. And I'm just going to test them with a little bit of the red cabbage indicator. Now remember it's always important to put a thin layer over the colours. Because you don't want to make it thick. Otherwise it will run and then you'll lose all the little detail. Well, that looks pretty clear, doesn't it? Look at this very distinct greeny blue line from the sodium bicarbonate. The water obviously didn't do anything, so that was just this sort of grey purpley colour in the background. What's interesting is the vinegar. Actually, I think I maybe mislabeled these, so I'm just going to correct that now because I remember from some other tests the lemon juice was successful and I can actually remember writing this wrong. And so with the lemon juice we've got this pinky red line, it's very faint though, it's, it's very hard to see that one. And with the vinegar, well we haven't really got anything worth writing home about. So these are the two colours we can play with, though I reckon that this one's better for legible writing. So let's have a go at making some things. So let's try making a secret message together. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just apply a very thin coat of water over where I want the message to be. And that's just to rumple the paper a little bit to cause it to crumple up so that it won't be quite so easy to see where I've previously marked the paper. You don't have to do this step, but it might just make it a little bit harder to read the message before we apply the indicator. To let that bit dry for a moment. So now we've got the paper nice and rumpled. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some big brackets around what we're going to write using the acid. And I put a little A there so I know that that's the acid. Just like that doesn't need to be lots. There we go. And then I've got to think about what message I'm going to write. So we can use a nice thin brush because we get really good sort of colour with the base. Which is going to because we don't want lots of the solution, we don't want it to run. Very simple message in there, and now we have to leave that to dry. Right, well this is the dried um, message, and I think it's safe to say that we 
can't see much there at all. I certainly can't see much. So now, let's reveal it with the indicator. Hope this is going to work and remember to use a thin layer of the indicator. Well there we go. Our secret message saying hello has clearly been revealed. We can see the bluey green. Hello. The O is a bit hard to see on the camera, but it stands out in the paper. I can see it quite clearly. And actually, I know it's not the brightest colour, and when it dries a bit more here, you'll be able to see it. But that acid bit has gone a little bit pink. But I have to say, the best is definitely the sodium carbonate solution. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you didn't know how to make the indicator, you can always check out that video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.